Last June, I took you guys with me shopping at my local flea market and I showed this closet organizer by Closet Me. I got it for $10. Something like this brand new can cost you a good $80 or more. The great thing about this system is that it not only has tons of drawer space, but it comes apart. I took half of it off to use as my baking station to hold all of my baking supplies. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I shared that I got this beautiful KitchenAid mixer from my husband for my birthday. Since I'm the baker in the family, I'm always getting requests to bake all kinds of desserts. For years, I've had a hand mixer, and I think I put in my time and I deserve a new one. One thing about these mixers are that they are super heavy, so I wanted to use this organization system where I could put it on something where I could roll it in and out of my pantry without lifting it from underneath my cabinet. Let me show you how easy and affordable it is to do. So the first thing I needed was wheels. I got these light duty swivel bearing casters from Home Depot for $6 and four came in a pack. I had a piece of MDF cut the size of the organizer, screwed all four casters in the corners of the MDF, and there you have it. It's mobile. On one of my flea market trips, I got a stack of this scrapbook paper for 50 cents. The print is Retro Appliances. This is perfect for my baking station. To keep my supplies organized, I got this clear tray from Walmart. And then I took the tray and I sat it on top of the paper to add some pretty inside my organizer. To keep my birthday candles intact, I used these space bar card holders. You may have seen me use them before to house the candles and to keep my cupcake liners free of dust. And in one place, I used this airtight mason jar I got from Ross for $1.99. So let me go through what I have in the top drawer. I have these dessert cups I got from the Target Dollar Spot. They are the perfect portion and size, and they are disposable. I also got these wooden utensils from Michaels for 70% off. I got a ton of them. They are perfect for picnics, and I have them sitting in an organizer I wasn't using. And then here's this mason jar where the cupcake liners are kept. They are so pretty to see all the colors. I love that. These airtight jars, you have seen me haul from the Target Dollar Spot before. I'm using them to hold sprinkles, but you can also use them for spices or beads for crafting if you're a crafter. My food coloring, um, this is a tea kettle, this is a timer. It is so adorable. I forget where I got it from. And here's my candles and some of my measuring cups. Some of my baking tools, I use these to spread frosting on cupcakes and cakes. To help me stay organized, I got this three ring binder from the Target Dollar Spot for only $3. I'm using it to hold my kitchen labels. These are from the Martha Stewart line and I believe they are discontinued. At that time I got a whole bunch of them and I have enough to last me for a long time. I'm using her zipper pouch to hold my labels and a few of these mint dip pencils I also got from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm also using the sticky notes and the page flags in case I want to tweak a recipe and my KitchenAid mixer manual is also kept here as well. And the second drawer is where I keep most of my dry ingredients inside these airtight containers I got from HomeGoods. Extra sugar, baking soda, cookie cutters are also kept here. On the third shelf is my mixing bowls and the attachments to my mixer is kept here as well. And in my binder is here too. On the last drawer are my measuring cups, sifter, rolling pins, and baking pans are also kept here as well. My favorite thing about having this station is like I said before, I don't have to pick up my mixer, I simply just roll the cart out of my walk-in pantry and bring it straight to my island where the electrical socket is. Everything is in one place and ready. There are no drawbacks to having this if you're a baker. So I hope you all have enjoyed this and you can head over to my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com and sign up for email alerts so you won't miss any posts. And I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon my friends.